Hi everybody, Chris the Blind Wood Turner here. Hope you're all fine. Uh, not a wood turning video today, but it's uh, a bit of a video about what I have been turning. Now, in the previous video, I think I mentioned that I'd be starting to turn some pens, so I've, I think I've listened to every pen turning video that's out there on YouTube. I've spent hours and hours and hours listening to things uh, Tony Oakshot he donated some pen kits to me and stuff so uh, I've been putting, turning pens and Mike Newman at Speedersight he's going <clears> to <throat> buy pens off me and then put them on his web shop for him to make some money out of them so uh, that was really the impetus for me to you know crack on and with the help of you know Tony and all the videos on YouTube uh, and Bob at RJB you know I've listened to a lot of his videos well all of them sorry uh, so I'd like to thank them so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'll show you what I've been up to and uh, how, how I've been dealing with the problems the different problems that have arisen with pen turning so uh, I'll just turn the camera off and then I'll take it off the tripod and then I'll show you what I've been up to. Okay, I'm at the kitchen table now. So, on the left, now again, excuse my hands, just while I sort of like get some situational awareness of what's going on. Now, these pens on the left, there's four, these are all pens. Uh, in the European slimline style now from recollection now you'll have to forgive me I don't know what order they're in uh, but there's a a walnut one a tulip wood a maple and a purple heart now one's got a gunmetal finish and one's got a satin finish and I think two I've got the 24 karat gold finish so they're the slimline pens that I've been making so if I just pick one up at random I, I don't know what but oh right sorry let me just remember there is bits of paper here now when I made them I had help off Andrea to tell me what wood blank it was and then we wrote down a piece of paper so I don't know if you can see what they are. Anyway, besides the point. So this is the style of pen I've been doing, the slimline pen. So pretty pleased with them so far. I've enjoyed doing it. The actual turning of the pen hasn't been a big drama. The hard, the hard thing about pen turning for me is, uh, you know, drilling the hole in the centre of the blank. Uh, so uh, I've made, well, I got a piece of wood and <coughs> cut it in half down the middle and put a V notch in each side, so it holds me blank vertically and square in my drill press vise. So. Uh, Again, I don't know what what species of wood it is, but and they all work fine. They all they all spin. I don't know if that's picking up the nib there out now, but they all spin. Good kits. And then on this side are uh, some. Sierra pens that I've been making now the Sierra pens are easier because there's only one piece of wood to turn uh, and like I say the actual turning <coughs> it's it's easy because of the bushings and you know the, you know when you're at the right diameter uh, because of the bushing set that's uh, that used in conjunction with each individual kit now the thing with the 
Sierra pens that I'm doing is that I'll be doing a CA finish on most of them, not all of them. What I've got here uh, just sat out, I've got an L1 and two U. So I've done two with the CA finish and one with just a natural finish. I don't know if you can see. I'll see if I can tell by touch. Well that's very slick and smooth. That's very smooth but it doesn't feel as smooth and that feels like the first one. So I would say the middle one is just a natural, uh, just a, a polished polished Sierra pen and then this will be the CA finish so hopefully the camera is picking up the finish on that really nice pens and they feel lovely and the weight of them and the balance is good so I suppose they're worth the, the, the extra money that they are so what I'm going to do now is uh, I will just pause the camera and I'm just going to get a little uh, a little gizmo that I've had to make to help me do the CA finish right here's the little aid to sanding the CA finishes now obviously these micro mesh pads I think there's nine of them you start with the coarse grit and work all the way up to the finest so obviously I could I could do that by touch but it'd take, you know, extra minutes that I'd rather spend on something else trying to feel what grit I'm on next and I could knock them on the floor or lose them so I had to come up with an idea to make things easy so I've made this little stick and I've got an old piece of uh, chipboard for mica and I drilled nine holes along its length and then I put a little screw eye now the screw eye is over on the left because that tells me what side I need to start from. So where the screw eye is, that's the coarsest. And as I work away from the screw eye, getting finer. And I've, I've tied them on so basically as I'm sanding through these, these grits, I hold, obviously I dip, I dip it in water first. I've got a, a tub of water and then I'll grab which what, what grit I want and then I can hold it under the work on the lathe and then when that grit's done I just move along to the next piece of wire and that's the next grit so that's how I've been working through uh, and, and using the micro mesh pads so I think it would be a good idea for anyone to you know put them on a, a stick like that because it just Excuse, excuse the pun but you could do it blindfolded and I'm sure not everybody you know knows instantly what what grit they're on next you know some people might memorize all the colors and oh yeah that shade is such a grit but you know some people might not be bothered with that and this just takes all the fuss out so it's a good little thing and it helps me so that's basically what I've been up to the past 10 to 12 days and now a couple of problems I've encountered is I've used CA glue on a couple of tubes to mount them in just trying that and I have noticed that sometimes the tube when you're pressing the pen together when it's completed and you're pressing it all together the tube has started popping out so obviously the adhesion and I've sanded the tubes down and roughed them up to aid adhesion but they still started popping out so I've had to apply a bit more glue and then push it back in and I've got accelerator as well so that's one little thing that I found that can happen so I'm just I've used epoxy on most of them and I'm certain that I'm going to use epoxy on all of them now because you know I just don't want to take the risk so some five minute epoxy and uh, I'm pretty happy with with everything the way it's going so I'll just turn the camera off and put it back in the tripod so that's what I'm up to with the pen turning at the moment uh, really enjoying it each pen takes me about six hours to do uh, but it's gradually coming down in time as I get a, a routine established in my mind and uh, 
in the garage I've got a couple of uh, storage containers with drawers in and I've got a container for the slimline pens and I've got a container for the Sierra pens and I've got each item in its own little drawer so I can locate stuff that way uh, so it, again it's just routines and systems but it's the same for anybody you know if you have stuff thrown about everywhere especially the parts of a pen kit you, you're just asking for trouble so uh, it's best to keep little small parts like you get in a pen the, the mechanism and maybe a spring or an if just keep them all contained so I'd like to pretty much finish this video now with uh, saying thanks to everybody I've been doing videos for about five months now and thoroughly enjoyed it it's, it's very hard work for me and especially now Charlie's back at school and I'm trying to do things on my own uh, but I wouldn't go back you know it's it's amazing all, all the amazing feedback that I've been getting off people uh, I'm nearly at 500 subscribers now so when I get to 500 I will be doing a giveaway as a thank you so I've got a couple of things in mind which I, which I can uh, get and give away and I, th I think they'll be really nice so I've got that so whether or not that, that should happen just after Christmas uh, all the people that have taken the time to maybe change their editing and production style bear in mind you know that that i'm blind and th there's there's a lot of people out there that take the time to edit the videos and add extra information and measurements and important stuff so i can get a good visual picture you know it's people like uh carl jacobson mike walt uh, Larry in the Tiny Trailer Workshop, Robbie the Wood Turner, Brendan uh, at Bacon Soda and B Mac Wood Turning, who else? Uh, Martin from Martin's Bazaar, Tom Stratton, Sam Angelo, uh, Custom Chris, who else? Oh, there's lots. Uh, Stephen Ogle, uh, Pete Freitag over in Germany. Uh, like I said, there's, there's a lot and if I've left anybody's name out there, please, please forgive me. Uh, but if you've done something to help me, you know who you are, you know, and I do appreciate it. And also, people that have spent the time to message me personally, you know, uh, I've, I've started some good relationships that way. Uh, Mike Atkinson over in America. Uh, and... Who else? Michael Olson. Uh, he's he's sent me some lovely comments and emails and things like that. So it's it's really really nice. The community of wood turners and woodworkers. It's it's one of the greatest groups of people that I've ever had the pleasure to to know and talk to. And without you guys, you know, I I wouldn't be as far. And I'm not far on in the scheme of things, but. I personally wouldn't be as far on as I'd like to have been if it wasn't for everybody that took the time and effort to help me, you know, and I really do appreciate it. And there are other blind wood turners and woodworkers out there, and, you know, I'd like them to, you know, get in touch and tell me about their experiences, but I've had a great year. I hope you all have a marvellous Christmas and you all have a well deserved break and recharge your batteries I've also got after Christmas I'm going to move my lathe into the middle of the garage and I'm going to get another lathe I'm going to have one just for pen turning and I'm getting a, a midi lathe uh, that will have variable speed and a bigger swing so I'll be able to do larger pots and do some platters then and you know step up another year you know and uh, keep keep chasing the knowledge so Merry Christmas to you all you know I consider you all good friends and I look forward to you know speaking to most of you again in the in the new year uh, this isn't to say that this is the last video before Christmas I might I might do a, a, a pen video 
uh, in the next in the next few days all being well so all the best everybody you mean the world to me and i mean i, I in fact i'm going to give you a hug so everybody come in come in come on there you go Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year guys and gals and uh, I'll catch up with you soon and thanks once again for all the help, you know, uh, it, it's been great so far and I'm really excited about what's coming up, so, bye.